Hello and welcome to my channel. So today I decided to do some testing about props and uh, thrust grams and uh, how many amps they're gonna take those props. 5, 6 inch, uh, 5 inch, 5 inch, 5 inch with 3 blades. So most of the time I just fly with this bull nose 5x45 but I have problems because it's take the battery out so fast so you don't gonna have a lot of time to fly so but you have a lot of thrust and you can do fast maneuvers this because it's the pitches for it's a uh, pitches 45 4.5 I don't have some other props because I just change it all the time this one is the just the only one when I have it but I'm gonna make a test also some other props I don't have it so I'm gonna start with one by one this is 5 by 45 this is 6 by 45 this is 5 by 30 and this is 5 by 40 and this is 5 by 45 three blades so I'm gonna start with this 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 and after this and I'm gonna see the result I just do my DIY thrust weight and I have here a watt meter I have a lipo battery it was fully charged but I don't know exactly how much current have inside I am gonna use a nano battery to power my X8R receiver for this test and I'm gonna use my Turanus also for the test and for the weight to put it here I'm gonna use something like uh, this I don't have some other weight so I'm gonna use this one maybe have 700 grams I think there is enough so yes, let's start with one by one and we're gonna see the results. So let's see how much thrust and amps on a half throttle and after full throttle. So the 5 by 45 it was the maximum 15 amps and the thrust was 600 uh, 567 with this one it was uh, the maximum 21 amps and 653 grams with uh, this one here Maximum thrust it was uh, 476 grams and 9 amps and something with uh, this prop over here it was 559 grams with uh, 13 amps and with this one the bull nose it was 591 and 18 amps with this one so the biggest it was this one who eat a lot of amperage and it's kill your battery if you don't have a 60C because it's 21 amps per prop and this is 3S battery it's not 4S battery it's a 3S battery so imagine if you have 4S battery you're gonna be more thrust and more amperage so you will gonna be like almost 
25 or maybe 30 amps per motor so that's not good this one however on 3s battery is 21 amps the m lowest one it was this one over here it was 9 and 86 I remember yes 9 and 86 uh, amps but between these three blades because I fly with this one before so let's exclude this one let's exclude this one and let's talk about those three because now I'm gonna stop flying with this and we're gonna start flying with this one and we're gonna stop flying with this one also because it's it a lot uh, this one it's 18 amps so it's 20 amps per motor I have 20 amps ASC is not a problem about that but it's 16 amps that you don't have a battery with a 60C or something like that let's say 50 or 60C your battery gonna puff after some time so this one you're gonna be the best one 5 by 40 it's 30 amps and in a full throttle it's 30 amps in normal throttle it's 3 half throttle is 3 amps and something so I think I'm gonna stay with this one for the moment I'm I am not sure the name of this one I'm gonna put a link in the description or all of those uh, this is Diatone or Dinatone something like that from Banggood anyway all they are from Banggood they are great props so if you wanna learn and you don't wanna expend so much money on props I buy they sh they give you I think six pairs yes six pairs of props bunch of those but I don't know if you can see already it's bent from here and here and they smash very fast so it's very flexible this one and on the air when you fly you just twist so you lose thrust on uh, these blades but for the beginner to learn and don't kill your battery they are great uh, if you wanna do flips and rolls and things like that I think it's okay me I just was like it those props uh, Diatone I think so is the name yes I think it's a uh, Diatone yes it's Diatone so I was like these props because I have it on my quad already and they are almost half props because I have here some spurs so if you can see it's almost it from the from the corners let me focus here how you can see all the props are like this all my props I hit ores, I hit grass, I land, I crush, I go straight away in the wall, so I go everywhere I was falling from 20 feet and so on so they are great props because uh, this one it was bented from here maybe you can see it was bented like this so after crash so I just put it right back and we can fly anyway this those props they are great <laughs> they are not so expensive so yeah but the problem it is if you're gonna fly like a, a person like me how you stole the quad so you fly like that you will gonna kill your battery but you are gonna learn how to fly and uh, don't kill your battery so my recommendation is those probably if you crash with those they're gonna smash from here they're gonna crack so don't expect to use again this prop however this one sometimes it doesn't broke from here but how is this one right now with a almost crack it here it's happening to me a couple of times so it was like like this the prop okay 
and I say, oh, I'm going to put it right back, and I'm going to fly again. No, that's wrong, because when it's spinning and the thrust is going on this prop, you're going to crash from, they're going to break from here, and you're going to end with a quad on the ground. So, if you see something like this, or you find a prop like this after you crash, don't put it again in your quad because believe me you are gonna crash so change the prop it's i think five dollars five euro uh, six of uh, six pairs so you don't care you just 50 bucks you're gonna take a lot of props to learn but those i just showed you before they are great they are great great props so you can start with this one if you don't like others and this one I just take it to try it but I don't want to use again I'm gonna start to use those and I have a few those until I'm gonna destroy all of them and after I'm gonna start fly with this so I hope this video it was helpful for you I can help you up with this kind of props of my uh, my motor is uh, from Banggood it's a Shin motor it's uh, 2204, 2300 kV, and the ASC it's a Hobby Wing 20 amps. This is what I use on my quad. So I'm gonna put a link also from uh, this one too. So thank you for watching, and see you next time.